The last plexiglass uh, faceplate we're going to put on is the one for access to the motherboard um, connectors. We'll use one inch screws and cross dowels. Okay, now we're going to put on the walls. But first, before we put on the walls, we will need to insert six inch all thread into the into the holes for the walls. We're just going to do this all around the the perimeter of the uh, of the base. Okay. Probably going to set it on one side, and they're all going to fall off probably. But we will only have to try. To do it. This is going to fall off. Okay. This uh, this um, we're going to start putting the walls on. The walls look like this, and they're going to be layered on top of each other. And we're also going to use all thread for this particular. Um, machine, you may actually get uh, specific lengths of screws for this, and it's going to be around six inches, maybe five and a half inches. Uh, this particular uh, machine is going to have the thread coming out a little bit, and it's going to be used for um, the next piece underneath it, but if you don't get the, um, the carcass underneath, you're going to want it to be flush, and um, so you'd be able to sit on the table. So uh, you're going to be using either the screws or the all thread. So if you're using all thread, just go ahead and thread a portion onto a nut, like that. And you're going to bring it up, and you're going to want to do this to two of them at least, so it can, they can provide a little bit of tension towards each other, and not slip down. I'm going to get a couple to start, just so we have a little bit of tension, and it holds in. And by the way, we are using this particular piece for this. It's got a long um, groove on one side and it's in more of an L shape. So just four for right now, and then there's gonna be a couple other pieces that go on top. Now we're ready for the next side. If they keep falling out, you can just thread a Thread a nut on it just temporarily so we can get the other walls in. The next piece we'll be putting on is looks more like this. It's more of a square than a than, than a rectangle. This is actually pretty tight already. All right, now this is as many as you're going to have. You can see that it, it matches the top. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. And then you're going to have the top on. You're going to have one more piece above that, which is the actual, which is the actual uh, top of the machine. I got a question. Why didn't you make this like one whole piece instead of just two individual pieces? Because well, machining it would be very difficult. Okay. Because it's, it's good to have a zigzag like this, but then if you do go around, then you can't put them close together oh, okay. in the machining. Everything makes a, makes a difference. There's always a reason for something, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You see something, there's always a reason for it. That was a good question, actually. Also, an example of how close I put the pieces. Okay. Now for the last two sections. And on this portion, there's only going to be four of them, just like on this side, because there's something else that goes on top. And this is another one of those portions where they just connect 
Oh, okay. Does it work? This is where you have to deal with the wire. Work? There's a lot of space in here. You want to try to keep it away from the top of the fan so it doesn't disturb the fan airflow. Another four for this one, this side, and it goes in this orientation. side we're going to be mounting these pieces here and we're going to start with two two and a half inch screws all right now you're going to take these parts these two parts and you're going to one here and another one here and then take this part and drop it in this location Make sure that the holes are, you know, kind of lined up because you're going to need to align them with the holes that are on the on the other structure we were building. And you can tighten these pretty tight. You really want to actually. One, because it's going to be the final tightness and it's going to be hard to get to these nuts later on. And two, the um, it will keep this structure together. So now we'll get this piece. And also, this, it's important that this curved piece goes on this side, and you'll see that this budding, a budding piece um, abuts the other pieces here. The same, same look. And then we're going to take this abutting piece as well and put it against here. So that's done. Now we're going to put the, screw, the nuts on the screws. And now we can tighten them down. And these pieces really serve as um, an outlet for the, the reels. When the reels become used, they have to go somewhere. And it will go into this cavity here and then come out of this portion. Okay. Get really, really tight. Use a proper wrench for this. Not like I'm doing. You might want to loosen them and, make, and just put these in for temporary, temporary purposes, just so you know you have a good. It's good all the way through. We can get the, We can take those out later. So while we're tightening these up really tight, we know that we're not. Gonna, have a problem putting this down on the machine later on. And we'll do that again to the other side. Okay, you can take these out now since they've been. Now we're going to push these in here again. Okay. 
Okay. Now we need to put in number eight inserts for the rails. On this side, the rail is going to be rigid. It's not going to um, need any adjustment. On this side, we're going to have the ability to adjust. Even though the V-groove bearings will adjust in, we can adjust it for straightness or parallel um, parallelism uh, across both sides. But this one is going to stay rigid. Uh, so we're going to be putting in these number eight um, number eight insert nut inserts, and it's going to go on the other side. And we're going to use these holes, not the counterboard holes. So we have to check back every now and then on this side to see where we need to put it. We know we have to put it on these two, so let's start with that. And that should be these two. And try to put these in as straight as possible. And start it out with a really good amount of downward force so you can get started. And if you can't provide that much of a downward force, I generally just take my palm and I just start to turn it with the other hand until I get it started. On that, now we can go ahead and place this top onto the structure that we've already built. Okay, so now we're we're gonna we're getting ready to put on this large piece on on top of the structure. We need to remove all the nuts that we use to keep it, the screws from falling down. This is going to be slightly difficult to get alignment perfect. I'm going to check all of the. Wires, making sure wires are underneath. Oh, we got out of there. So this will, this part will require a lot of patience. I hope it just goes well, easy. So I'm gonna find the first one. And make sure your fingers aren't in a place where it squashed. You may need to take some of the screws out so it'll go down easier. There's one over there. That wasn't that bad. Huh. Wow, it went down surprisingly easy. Where did this one come out? Alright. Now, once you start to see screws poke through, go ahead and start putting the nuts on the other side. We're going to have to start maneuvering these screws in different ways. Okay, in the previous part of the video we showed using these um, parts, but these are kind of um, hokey and, and it doesn't work very well. So we switched to using screws. These are six inch long screws from the bottom of the head to the end and um, they stick out a little bit. We six or five and a half inch screws, but uh, we were unsuccessful. We may still find them um, when we start to put this product out. Um, and also, there's a nut inside there, and it's really difficult to, to, um, to tighten. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna put um, quarter inch nut inserts. So uh, tightening it won't be a problem at all. The only difference that has to be done in the video, or the only difference that has to be done in the assembly of this is that you'll have to take this bottom piece, um, which you saw in the video, and then stack all of these pieces up, um, get the top prepared like we saw in the video, and um, put these down from the top of it all the way through. So you just have to make sure that these are nicely aligned when you, when you put it together. I'm going to be using these really little feet uh, when, um, because in my um, the surface I'm going to be putting this on has little holes that um, conform to the locations of where these screws are and it keeps it in place. So I only need a small felt pad to be able to allow the air circulation to, to, um, to escape and to bring the air in. Uh, 
You can also use large pads like these to, uh, uh, so you don't um, scratch any of the surface of your table. Um, obviously, if you do get the six inch screws, then you may have to cut them to size uh, once, once they're installed to be able to uh, uh, clearly uh, make room for, for these pads and um, to be shorter than uh, the, the, the pads when they're sticking out. Okay, so make sure that when you're putting this on, you're gonna, we're putting this, um, this main structure onto the, the base or the, uh, the top of the carcass. Uh, make sure that the holes are lined up correctly. So I can see that when I push it over, it's going to be uh, these two holes, these two holes. So it looks like it's the correct orientation. It's sitting well, so just look to see if there's anything that's... Okay, so now we have the, the machine. Um, the internals are essentially done, the electronics for the computer and the uh, CNC machine. Now we have uh, the top plate, which is the actual surface of the machine. Uh, we can um, start putting on the rails, uh, so that's what we'll do next.